what is going on beautiful people this is business connect once again here with another exciting edition if you're new to the channel here on business connect we do videos about live in china things happening here in china so in today's edition we will be giving you six updates as far as chinese borders are concerned as far as people will be able to travel back to china and as far especially as international students are concerned and when their borders will be open if this is your first time watching our channel, if you're new to the channel, we want to give you a special welcome and say so here on the channel, we bring you updates about things happening here in China, especially things that affect international students, foreigners, and generally experts living here in China. Our past videos have been flooded with the news of international students, when will foreigners be able to travel back to China. So in today's video, I'll be bringing to you guys six new updates as far as the return to China is concerned. So not to make the video a very long one, I'm going to be giving you the updates or the headlines of things that have happened in the past week and I'm going to leave a description or I'm going to leave a link to the description at the description box so that if you want to read more about these different developments, you can go down there at the description box and you can find details about the things that I'm going to be talking about in this video. Okay, so the first update says that China is about to approve the first COVID-19 drug. This drug that has been developed by Chinese and the US scientists is already in a pilot stage and has already been used in over 800 COVID-19 patients. And if finally this drug is approved and can be used worldwide, it means that the world would not only be depending on the COVID-19 vaccination, they will now have a drug or a complete cure to the disease and this will even give more chances for countries especially china to open their borders far before people expect i know this might be hopes that can be dashed at any time because when they started talking about the vaccine everyone was hoping that once the vaccine is approved once people start getting vaccinated once the vaccination rate reach a certain level borders will open because people will not be able to transmit the virus from one person to another but the vaccines have been approved countries are gearing up with vaccination to up to 70 to 80 percent achieving herd immunity but still borders are not still opening up so maybe with the coming of a covid 19 drug maybe there will be more hopes and countries will be able to open their borders soon before time okay that said let's move on to the next update and in the next update we'll be talking about the situation in china the covid 19 situation in china recently there have been a lot of outbreaks in different cities in china and it has even led to this a stage where universities or a lot of schools have decided to go on winter vacation two weeks before the normal time this is just to reduce the rate of transmission that has started in most universities so the last few weeks in china have seen sporadic outbreaks in different cities and institutions even in university campuses we've heard news where some university campuses were sealed and everyone put on quarantine because of outbreak of maybe one or two positive cases so this has led to the decision that most universities have decided to go on winter vacations two weeks before the normal vacation time so i'm sure that this decision has been made because since scientists say that winter has a high rate of transmission of the virus so that's why they want to leave students to go back to their homes like two weeks before they get right into the heart of winter so that it will reduce the outbreak of the virus or of the disease in university campuses the next update that i'll be talking about concern recent talks that were held between the president of china xi jinping and the president of the united states joe biden the president of these two nations recently held a virtual call and there were four important things that were discussed in this uh, in this online meeting they might not have direct relations to when borders will be open but if we look at it uh, in, the, in the bigger picture we see that it will eventually affect the opening of the borders in one way or the other because the first thing they talked about was concerning the the case of taiwan which might not have a direct relation with when borders will be open the second thing they talked about was about uh, human rights and if we look at it detailly we might see that the human right issue might in one way or the other affect when borders will be open because traveling and cross-border trade and cross-border interaction is part of our human rights so if they have talked about this 
it might eventually lead to the early opening of the borders. The third thing they talked about was about the China-US ties, which also has a direct link to opening of borders because if they are strengthening their the ties between the two countries, it's also going to affect inter-regional uh, traveling, which that is what the whole world is looking forward to. And the last thing was about China-US trade which also in another way will affect when borders will be open because to facilitate trade between the two countries, the borders need to be cleared. Okay, the next uh, object we'll talk about is concerning the admission in Chinese universities, the March intake. And this is just like an announcement that most universities in China have opened portals for applications for the March intake. We all know that Chinese universities have two intakes, the March intake and the September intake. And now we are in November and most universities in China have already opened their platforms for admission. And this update is just serving like a reminder to those who still want to study in China, especially if you want to grab a scholarship, Chinese government scholarship and different university and institution scholarships. The secret of most of these scholarships is to apply on time because most of the evaluations are done on a ruling basis, which means that it's a kind of a first come first serve. So you want to apply on time if you want to catch or if you want to grab a seat for one of these universities. But also, this doesn't mean that if you don't have the required document, if you don't have the required qualifications, then you hurriedly apply on time, then you will gain the chance. It just means that you should get the required documents as fast as possible. And with your qualifications, you need to apply on time because it's like a first come, first serve. So concerning the admissions for the March intake in Chinese universities, if you're interested in studying in China or if you, you want to study in a Chinese university and you don't know how to start, you don't know how to go about it, I'm going to leave a, a contact on the screen with some information there. You can write, the, you can send them an email, you can write them on WhatsApp and ask any questions and they will be able to help you grab maybe a scholarship or an admission position in any of the universities of your choice. Okay, the next update that I'll be talking about concerns the, the rate of vaccination currently in China. And as at the time that I'm recording this video, above 2.4 billion doses of the COVID-19 vaccine has been administered in China. That is more than 1.2 billion people who have already gotten vaccinated. I think the vaccination rate now in China is approaching the 80% rate that the health authorities said once this rate is achieved, then borders might be uh, losing a little bit. So let's wait and see maybe the f in, in a few weeks or maybe in a month to see how they will react to this data. To talk about the recent emails that were sent by some two universities, the Dunkang Kunshan University and the Shanghai New York University. Well, I just have one thing to, to, to note about these two universities. We know that there are thousands and thousands of university students that are out of China waiting to, to return. And most of these universities or most of these students are from government owned universities or from government run universities. And if we should get uh, information from one of the government universities, like full government universities, I think we should consider that as maybe something serious point uh, on this point if we look keenly we'll notice that the first university that allowed students to come into china the gtsi university in shenzhen was a private university and recently the dunke kongshan university is also a private university and even shanghai new york university is a private affiliated university all these universities are privately a private affiliate to universities out of china but we have not heard anything specific from a full government university or from a full state-owned university and we hope that once we get information from a full state-owned university then we will consider this serious or we will consider it as a breakthrough to students returning to china yeah this is really some hope if uh, affiliated universities have said something it means that the, the the coast is getting clearer and clearer and students will soon return back to china the aim of sharing this update is so that you can look at what's happening or you can see a bigger picture about what's happening in China, what's happening out of China. And once you put all this together, you can be able to see if you are on the right track, if you should still continue waiting 
or if you can move on with your life and completely forget about the Chinese studies or if you can or if you should continue waiting and so on so we share updates like this so that you can be able to look at your situation and know what's happening so if you like the video or if you like what we're doing on the channel don't leave the video without giving us a thumbs up share it with someone and if you have any concerns or if you have any questions let us know in the comment section below and if you're not yet subscribed to our channel hit that subscription button so that each time we bring videos like this you will be notified and you'll be the first to watch our videos until now it's peace out i'll see you in our next video bye bye